Hello and welcome back to Predicted and my name's Tony. So what we're going to be doing today is taking a little trip to Marks and Spencers and see what they've got on their shelves. I have been in before and they do have some interesting stuff so and they're, what I find is they're quite good value. What I've sniffed so far there's there's some interesting stuff that you wouldn't find maybe in some other stores. Not all things are trying to be clones in there either, which I quite like. I'm going to get a little bit of a video why I'm there of the shelves and what I see. And hopefully I'll find a couple of bits that interest me and pick them up and do a little review at the end of this video. So here we are in Marks and Spencers. And the first fragrance on the left hand side here we're going to have a look at. The one that I would be interested in would be Amberwood Spice Gentleman. These two here, we have two clones. We have Hom Noir, which is a clone of Amani Code Ultimate, I believe. And the, in the gold bottle, have a clone of one million. Here is a Demo O'Leary range. So the Bergamot and Basil and the Vetifern Cedarwood and the Earl Grey and Sandalwood. Very interesting line. Infinite. And next to it there, we have Aqua. So here we have the Autograph range, really nice smelling fragrances. We have the selection box there, the three different interesting fragrances they do. This one looks really interesting as well. And then onto one that I would definitely want to try, which is Vetiver Bourbon by Monothene. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that. I did manage to pick up two of the fragrances from the footage I got, and I spent a total of £25.50 on those two fragrances, which I thought was a bargain. The first one I picked up is Wood Spice Gentleman Amber. So let's take it out of the box. That's the presentation box. It's got the notes listed on the back. It's quite nice packaging, nice colouring. The bottle, I think, looks fantastic. So that'll look nice in my collection. I did notice they had three or four of these on the shelves with different names. This is the one that interests me the most because of the notes that I see on the back of the box. So let's run through those notes. So in the top, we have lemon, we have apple, and we have orange blossom. So real interesting citrus notes there, and I think the apple will add something different to what you find in other citrus openings. In the middle we have lavender and cedar. In the base we have musk, tonka bean, sandalwood. Now, one thing that really surprised me, no amber. In a scent that's called amber. Crazy. But let's give this a go. Now this comes as this comes in a tonic bottle. It's a screw-on lid, as you can see. So the idea is a splash. It's an aftershave, effectively. Now let's put a bit more of that on. Yeah. Now that's really sweet. It's not too sweet. It's not cloying. It's really good. Really like it. Not sure on performance or longevity yet because I've not actually worn this yet. I've tried it, but I've not put it on and worn it out. But the opening is fantastic. The apple adds something very different. So I wouldn't call it a citrusy opening at all with the apple. Uh, that It really makes it an interesting scent. I think the, the mid with the lavender really smooths it out a little bit. I like lavender in scents. I don't like too much of it, but just enough to to smooth it out and it's certainly got that the i don't get much of the woods i get more tonka and sand the sandalwood probably is adding to that smoothness of it uh, and but it's got some depth it's it feels for me it smells familiar to me and i'm not sure quite why but it's very pleasant really really like it i don't think it's Wood Spice Gentleman to me comes across as something something someone older would wear, but this is quite 
I think quite a modern designer style scent. I really like it. So there we go guys, that's the first one I picked up. Amber Wood Spice Gentleman. Well recommended and just £7.50 for that 100ml. So I'll be interested to see what the other ones in the same line smell like in the uh, Wood Spice Gentleman range because that is good. Be definitely going back and having a check of the other ones. Now the second one, I'm more interested in this. I've left this sealed in the box because I wanted to do like an unboxing style video of it. It was the one that you see in the video at the top that I said I was interested in, and it's called Vetiver Bourbon Monofin. Now, in a really nice packaging and a good box, the bottle looks lovely on the shelf, so I'm interested to get inside this. Now here goes, look, this is what a lovely bottle. Nice colour juice. Love the little plastic top. I think it just pops off, yes it does. Golden at atomizer. Now I didn't know it was a company that existed. So monophene. I've looked them up on Fragranta and they actually do quite a wide range, but I wasn't aware of that. I'm not sure if any other Marks and Spencers stock any of the different different ones in their line. I think it's part of their classic range, which is their cheaper range. This 100ml bottle just cost me £18, which I thought was really good value. This one's quite interesting, a bit more unique than some of the things that I've picked up in the past. So in the top we have lavender, lemon and bergamot and artemisia. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, Artemisia. In the mid we have Vetiver and Neroli, and in the base we have Oak Moss and Sandalwood. Now I remember spraying this in store and it smelled quite green to me, like maybe cut, freshly cut grass. Not sure where that's coming from, whether that's the Artemisia or the Neroli, but it does smell good. Let's give it a go. Remember it being a little bit spicy, maybe that's from the coriander. Yes, now that to me is freshly cut grass. I get that same thing again. Now, I remember I sprayed it on my hand as I was walking around and I was looking at lots of other things and I could still smell it on me by the end of the day. And the dry down was beautiful. I didn't get that freshly cut grass anymore. That had faded away and the, the sandalwood and the vetiver and the neroli started coming through. But up front you get the slight spiciness with the coriander. The lemon is definitely in there. So it's slight, it's a citrusy grass is the way I can explain the opening. I think the best way, that's my best way of describing it. So a citrusy, freshly cut grass. And then I know on the dry down, I'm gonna get that lovely vetiver, neroli and sandalwood coming through. I didn't get any of the oak moss. It wasn't, it's not a woody scent I would say. It's quite green, but not woody. But that is beautiful, just 18 pounds. I would recommend it if you've not tried it. So something new to me, I'm not sure if you've heard of it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, something slightly different to what I normally do. Please leave comments down below. I'd be happily respond to all the comments I get. If you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, that would be fantastic. And I look forward to seeing you all next time. I've got lots of content coming. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to keep smelling wonderful.